Hello, hello. This is PN from Extraordinary Imaging, and this is the Nikon 20mm f1.8 G. I've been using this lens for a couple of years now, uh, mainly pairing it up with the Nikon D850, uh, and I've come to know this lens quite well. Uh, and here's my review on it. The Nikon 20mm f1.8 G has a 94 degree diagonal field of view. Uh, comes with uh, 13 elements in 11 groups, uh, contains two spherical elements and two ED elements and a nanocrystal coated element as well. Comes with a 77 mm fil filter thread and a metal mount and a gasket uh, at the back to prevent dust from getting in there. The entire lens weighs 350 grams. It's super lightweight, as you can see, it took very, very small as well. Comes with a petal lens hood. and a manual focus to autofocus switch on the side. It focuses as close as 20 centimeters as well. The main thing I want to talk about is the image quality. So at f1.8, which most of my images are shot at f1.8, the images are highly usable. Coma performance isn't the best at, uh, for this lens, um, especially wide open, uh, but it tends to clear up at about uh, f2.2, 2.5 or so. Uh, and I find a sweet spot for this lens actually shooting at f2.5 where you have super sharp images and great colors. Vignette performance isn't too good, especially at f1.8, uh, you do get seriously dark corners. Um, and if you want to shoot panoramas with it, um, it's best to stop it down to at least f2.2 and it tends to clear up quite a bit by then. But overall, um, I, this lens is super good to use. Uh, it's never let me down once ever since I bought it. Um, and it's such a simple design, uh, but the image quality is stunning and it doesn't cost too much as well. What I like to do, especially um, with, uh, because this comes with a 77 mm fil filter thread, it's kind of like a very standard filter size. I use it with the Hoya um, Red Intensifier filter, which acts as a light pollution filter. Uh, and reduces, uh, well, adds contrast and saturation in light polluted areas. Um, so it greatly reduces the light coming from sodium vapor lamps. It's amazing what kind of images you can get with uh, this lens and filter in quite light polluted areas actually. Um, so you don't have to drive that far out from the city, maybe about half an hour or so instead of the usual you know, hour and a half to get anything. Um, and this filter just cuts through all that uh, that stray light and yeah, reveals the colors of the Milky Way quite quite well. I mean, it only works up to a certain point, of course. Uh, it's not going to give you a clear view of the Milky Way directly in the city, uh, but it does the job just fine uh, when you're um, out in the suburban or rural areas. So overall, this is why I think that this lens is the, the best for um, astrophotography. Uh, it produces stunningly sharp images uh, with great colors and great contrast. Uh, takes the standard filters at the front, it produces an ultra-wide field of view and comes with a bright f1.8 aperture. And it's not that expensive as well. So if you're shooting Nikon and you like to do astrophotography, this is the lens to get. This is Pian from Extraordinary Imaging, signing out.